Hi, we wanted to talk a little bit today about that funky crawl, janky crawl, hitch, all of the above. I'm gonna see if my assistant will help. But generally, um, it's when they, instead of crawling on two hands and two knees, they do, let's see, they do one knee and one foot and kind of just scooch forward like that. Um, he's trying to go push something that's gonna make a lot of noise. So you're gonna see that for kids that crawl typically too. Um, I think it's just more concerning if they do it all the time because what it's doing is it's creating um, some asymmetrical movement patterns I mean, it would be fine, I guess, if they did 50% of the time with the left foot up and then 50% of the time with the right foot up, but that's not usually how it works. They have one leg that they prefer. Like, my guy, if he's gonna do it, the left leg goes up. And that usually happens when he changes surfaces or things like that, but he doesn't stay doing that for long. Um, so what are some things you can do for it? One, you can work on kneeling at a support surface. So we talked about this the other day. Playing in kneeling is a great way to work on both those hips. You can also work on the kind of pulling it forward, although depend, you're gonna have to play with the speed because like he just wants to pull up to standing. Um, I would also work on side sitting. And you could focus on one side more, but I like to do everything symmetrically. I have found, even with him who had some asymmetries, every time I focused on one side, the other side changed. So, you know, you wanna do some side sitting. So in order to, okay, we're just, we're gonna be, uh, here. Do you wanna check out your toy? Um, so he prefers to side sit this way. I know, you want the truck. Yeah, um, so he prefers to side sit like I'm doing right now. Um, so I, if I'm purposely playing with him, try to get him to side sit to this side. But I want him to do both sides because that's just gonna help with strengthening the hips and the trunk, which are gonna help carry over to crawling. Um, the other thing you can do is crawling over pillows, over your legs, over obstacles. It's a lot harder to have that one foot up when you're doing that. <coughs> um, I also like crawling upstairs, which I mentioned. And you may find that they lead, that they kind of keep that pattern going on the stairs, but that's easy enough to kind of bring the other leg up um, to help make them more equal. Um, the other thing you can do, oh hi, you're finding all the toys, huh? Is when they're crawling, just loosely hold on to their ankles. Go ahead, go get it. He's not gonna cooperate right now, but. Just kind of gently, I'm not tugging on him, but gently, there you go. So like, he couldn't lift it up right now if he wanted to, like I'm just kind of guiding the ankle. So those are some quick ideas for you to try. Um, also besides crawling over obstacles, crawling on a really soft surface, like a bunch of pillows in a row or things like that. Um, hopefully that helps, let me know if you have questions.